Welcome back to part two of our discussion, our comparison between holes one and holes two of the C-1370. In part one, we took a really deep dive into hole one, Supernatural. Now with Mike, we're gonna walk through hole two and discuss those differences. It's a big episode. If you haven't already seen the first episode, we'll put a link down below. This is gonna be super interesting for those of you wishing to specify your own boat. Keep watching. Let us have a look. Wow, a lot has been done. They have moved all the boats about. So what I would say to you is the boats have all now been moved. Lots going on here. Our blinds have all arrived. Huge numbers of blinds all to be fitted. Our plotters, all our instruments are in place. And so now let's take a look at the instruments on the portside primary helm station. We obviously, we've got the anchor counter there. The digital throttles there, which are beautiful, pretty sexy, a general Yanmar engine gauge to show the engine revs and all those good things. Under this piece of tape, the engine start controls. What else would you expect to find under there? 12 inch BNG plotter, again, full navigation suite, and this is mirrored on the other helms as well, and in the nav station. Then we've got autopilot controls, another BNG general control just under this one. And then finally, because I don't like remote autopilot controls, I want a push button autopilot control. And that, with the exception of the cup holders that have been installed as of today, we simply then have these six light switches on the other side. And they will all be labeled, otherwise I'm going to get lost and be pushing buttons like a mad professor. So this is the port side helm. Let us take a swing across just to the starboard side, see what's going over there. It's nice and simple, this one. Those carbon wheels will be reinstalled, but that is simply a 12 inch plotter. Quick jaunt inside. Let's have a good look down here. We've got those three, three beautiful master vault battery banks, all balanced with that massive solar array. Then as we go down, bookcase here, we I think have actually opted to not have the, the door on that. But wandering down here, the flooring is all in. Everything is now in place. And I just want to show you that obviously with the brown paper, we now have the, we're going to call it a workstation, but we've got this drawer in here. Kevin has been very, very good to take the dimensions of our laptops. We know it'll all fit inside there. And then the carpenters are now going in, finishing off that woodwork. There is still a door to go on our walk-in wardrobe, but now with the carpenters in place, and their work done, the aircon in place, we now are just moving to like final USB ports. Again, television, beautiful piece of kit, 43 inch TV on a motorized RAM. Take a quick dive down into the starboard hull and this is the first look at our workshop. So listen, with everything stowed, this is what you see. There is a mattress, a split mattress that goes over there, but then you flip this back open the doors and then underside those doors there is a pull out stall an articulated stall which will be obviously fitted down the line and then we've got this shelving these storage boxes for shelves for tools for equipment and we deliberately specified storage carates so they can be washed out and replaced if they get damaged or too filthy so that then all folds back up the current project that you're working on then closes back down and the mattress goes over there and it's all done there is also additional storage tool storage and cupboard work there so for me to store tools and little bits of kind of like equipment and my bosun box so i'm very happy with that the gpo has been put in and twin lights perfect so yeah this is the the the, the, the mark not the master what am i saying this is the the guest hull number one three berths in there and then at the very stern we have the other cabin so yeah this brings the build update to a date let's go to the master cabin with mike and go into further details about the differences between hull one and hull two this is the master cabin room rooms two show us the differences here probably the main thing is so yours is the first boat coming through with the lower disc or vanity we've got a uh, just a it's a very basic uh, lower disc area but you know it's actually just a, a place where you can dump you can put things down you can sit down here so you'll have a a sliding uh, ottoman which also doubles up as an additional seat for when you're yeah. sitting around the saloon table as well so that's a timber finish with a, an upholstered seat bench moving forward we've just opened up this space for access it's quite a high bed quite a high bunk and we've put in a handrail up here 
and just opened up this space for much better access. So this access is really important. I mean, one of the key things in our design is that we really look at the ergonomics, making sure it's safe to use and practical and functional. So we've improved the access here. Coming through, still got all plenty of storage everywhere, deep drawers. You know, it's, it's just, there's so much space on this boat. It's, it's unbelievable. Talk about this. These, you've changed this now. Yeah, just the, the, the joinery. We've gone over to the 1600 style joinery. Just trying to, we, we're just getting finger marks all over the other joinery. We think it's probably the better way to go. Coming forward, we've got, now your, um, we're gonna have a door on this one. Coming further forward, you've got the same uh, setup that we had on boat one. Just elevated a little bit higher. And uh, yeah, again, laundry, storage. Nice, and you've moved spider lights. Right, I've heard them as snake lights, but anyway. Oh, spider lights, oh, snake lights, so yeah. yeah. So heads are the same, just about? I think so, yeah, not much change there, that's right. Well, look, going through, we've got three house batteries, three house lithiums on your spec. Yep, yep, yep. Dual solar, boat one didn't have any solar, so we'll come back to solar when we go up onto the, look at the roof. You've got the Combi Master, so this is the shore power connected charger. So you've got the battery charger when you're connected to shore power, and then it also is the inverter that gives you your GPOs, your general purpose outlet power. So for you, that's 240 volt. Then coming through this side, you have a 12 inch BNG set up, BHF, okay. Now you've also got an additional 4.5 inch Control there and autopilot control. Yeah, that's my. That's your autopilot. Uh, yeah, correct. I, I, that's actually a custom item I asked for. We've actually had a number of people do that. So that way you've just got a dedicated autopilot control separate from your chart plotter. Yep. Okay. You've also elected to go with the C zone, so the digital switching control. You can see all the circuits, you can control the circuits, you can see how much power is being used in each circuit, you can set up all of the different scenes, so you can have a single button press for step off the boat, or single button press for night watch, whatever it might be, and you, and you set in all, all the different modes. Is there a romance setting? <laughs> Sorry mate, there's no single button that does that trick, <laughs> no. All right, come down below. Now, look at this beautiful little item. This will have a, uh, an upholstered cushion on top, so that's a uh, starboard forward bunk, and that's the standard boat setup. But for you, and, and we've worked with you obviously through the, the whole build process on this, for the workshop for, that you were uh, wanting to develop, and we've accommodated. So we've got a, obviously we open this out, and we've got storage below. Still got one more storage uh, shelf to go in there. We've got a seat coming in, You've got one light here. I think we've got another light coming in from the other side from memory for yep. you. Sure, lots. And then we've also got a, a, a vice that's going to be coming in here. Mm. So we're still just, just developing this. This actually is going to be going forward just slightly so you can get your knees in underneath. Um, and uh, yeah, so that'll be, this will be your workstation. So then you've got GPOs and 12 volt outlet here as well. But then, you know, you can pack it all up and uh, keep it nice and tidy. I, honestly, I cannot tell you how important that is to me. What's forward are they? That's so you've got deep storage down there, so pull that up and it's, you know, it's, that's full height, and then you've got storage up in the front area as well. So that's right. a, through there, and then you go through and you've got the collision bulkhead right up forward. So aft of here is all your standard equipment, and again, you can see you've got your snake lights and fans and aircon all, uh, all in the boat, ready to go. This is important, actually. I think you and I have talked about this. This is uh, different, no? Yeah, so we've got the, the depth of this has come outboard, and we've got access to this space from the galley. So we'll go up and have a look at that also. Previously, we had that design, so we had this full open space. You then got this, so it's opening up. So we're just trying to maximize all of the space. Is that cupboard open up there? This cupboard does. I haven't got the. I was going to catch on it. Okay. It, it, it goes up here. Nice. Aircon unit in here, and then we've got storage on this side. Fine. Galley, your boat's the first boat that we've got the uh, Corian finish. Just see if I can get that. So, still just got to be tidied up and polished out, but this has got, I think it's called uh, Sparkle, appropriate for you. We shouldn't talk about the nickname that you call me when we're off camera. It's very hard probably to see in camera, but it's just got a little bit of shimmer in it just to give it a little bit of depth. Corian actually, the way that that gets done is it gets bonded together so you can have these lips and fiddles and then, then blend those joins. So it's a glue join, essentially. Quite a manual process, but very nice. Looks, no, it does look beautiful. I mean, yeah, uh, it's difficult to see with this light, 
Yeah, when you get it like that. I mean, that's going to need a final polish, but yeah. It Correct, yeah, it's not, not complete yet, but that's gone in. And, and it looks like it's one piece. Interestingly, and, and you've been doing some work on this with some of your, your patrons, the, the weight saving, or the weight penalty, sorry, from going from the base boat in granite coat going up to the Corian finish is not as much as what we thought initially. Twin sinks, now obviously the trades guys have got all their gear in here, but twin sinks with the uh, chute going straight the way through for direct discharge. And then for you, you've got a, an electric uh, oven and microwave. Yep. And that, which is super useful, that cupboard, which is actually storage. <clears throat> yeah, so that's that's new coming through on your boat, and uh, we'll be putting that through on, on subsequent boats as well, just additional use of that space once we've worked out the, the opportunity there to, to go through. So, And then you've got your spice rack as well. Nice. So, yeah, just utilising as much of the space as we can. Down here, we've got a rubbish bin or trash can. Trash can. Trash can. Trash can. That goes here, um, the rubbish bin, and then uh, just general storage under there. Um, TV's the other one. Yes, um, TV. Yeah, yeah we, we're not powered up yet. The guys have had it rolling though, but basically, so you've got the larger screen TV, and yeah, it's, a, it's on a pneumatic RAM, so we've got this composite lid. Now that's actually the same uh, carbon hinge we're using on the trifold door. Folds up, press button, and the TV will come up. Stereo goes there, and then speakers. Great. There are, I think, so now, after all that discussion with our patrons, thank you all. Two are going there. Correct, yeah. I think, I believe, James is mounting a subwoofer in a dedicated box down there. Thank you to those yes, emails well. that we received about a dedicated box. Yeah. Two speakers we've talked about recessing because uh, they look like a gash up there. Yeah, they've, just... they've got in there first round, but we're not happy. Yeah, um, And they'll be going up into the into the roof. No, it's all great. Also, this is the C-Zone breaker box. We get a lot of questions about how C-Zone works, you know, what's the redundancy, you know, what happens if you have a failure. And with C-Zone actually, so it's a digital switch. So unlike the, the standard boat with the breakers that you're physically pushing over a switch, if you have some sort of failure, then you can manually override these. So you're taking one of the fuses out here and you're crossing the uh, the bar up to the higher one, so you're manually overriding this. So you're basically you're putting in a blade fuse to override the digital switch. Makes sense. So looking great. Yeah. Looking great. Um, a couple of weeks away now. Correct. Okay, so in here, those are our... Multitude of blinds. Wow, yeah. a lot of blinds there. On your boat, you've got a 12-inch PNG unit, which is the, the more typical configuration. And then you've got your autopilot, autopilot display, additional 4.5 MFD, so multifunctional display. You know, this is your primary helm. And then on the starboard side, you've also got a 12 inch plus uh, digital throttle control. But this is on the 1370, the port size of the primary helm. That's the Yanmar uh, digital control. Then you've got your start stop buttons for the Yanmars as well. Anchor windless uh, chain count. We'll be able to call ourselves an Australian boat builder if we don't have a barbecue. So no, okay. and we will use this a lot. Yes. A lot, a lot. Yeah, a this lot. is actually, it's, we, we've used, so the brand Cookout is an Australian company we've used for many, many years. Back on the Seawind 1000s, you know, all the 1160s have all got this brand of, uh, of barbecue from, from Australia. But this is a new model for us, the Infinity. When you open up down below, you've actually got a pull-out tray underneath. So in terms of cleaning and maintenance, nice and easy. You've got the old sort of kitty litter down there. And the flame's actually coming in from the side, uh, which makes it much, much easier to then be able to, rather than having all the flame coming through the center, in terms of maintenance and cleaning, it's much easier. What we find also is, so if this is set up quite often, you'll get people who just put down some of those silicon type um, barbecue trays as well. And then um, manual traveler. Correct, yes. So now we need to get a uh, winch handle pocket here, but basically you'll be going from one side to the other for your main sheet uh, traveler control. Solar, do you want to have a quick chat about solar? Mike? Yeah. And then I think we're about done. We're on the coach roof. Talk to me about solar. Yeah. So you've elected to go for the maximum solar. It's uh, 2,310 watts of solar. And these are obviously slimline, flush style solar panels where they have a control box and we have a recess in the coach roof to accommodate that. We've got all the, the cabling going through. We've got removable panels for, for future access. So this is our maximum solar. We've still got plenty of space here. Why haven't we filled the whole space? The reality is, you know, 2.3, that's a lot of solar for a couple like 
yourselves living on board, you're going to be pumping in, that'll be fine. These panels do get very hot to walk on. You can walk on them, but they get very hot. So we, we feel that actually having some clear space to come up and, and access sails, etc., where you can still go up barefoot, probably makes sense. Yep, absolutely. Right, so we're in the wood shop. So we're just looking at a, an option we're just developing. And this is a, a, a different type of timber finish, different types of veneers for the saloon table. This is a uh, bird's eye cut maple finish. So typically we are using, well, we are using ash throughout the boat, whereas this is a maple finish. Similar tones, but it's just got this different level of finish. What we're looking at here is a, is a, is a two-pack sprayed table. It hasn't been buffed, it hasn't been polished yet. But you can see from the raw timber veneer, You've got so much depth and texture in it, it just gives a little bit of a pop to it. We're just working through as presenting that as an option for people to take. And, and we'd be looking to do that as a, um, a table top as well as a, a nav desk. Just having a look at those tables and the veneers, just thought it'd be a good idea to look at the spray booth as well, see what we've got going on in here. Gonna come through. And you can really feel that air, right, when we're yeah, coming through. Super strong. So this is a new spray booth that we've just set up. Obviously production's growing. A lot of investment going into the facility at the moment. Having a good spray booth is critical. So you can see you've got all the air filtration. So you've got air coming in, coming down, getting sucked down through the floor. Here you'll see a whole range of different products that we're doing. You can see some sycamore, that's typically our 1260 finish. 1160 grey timber work being done. And then behind us we've got some other 1600 finish work going on here as well. So a whole different mix. All uh, two-pack polyurethane. Nice. Yeah. So what did you think of that part two, the comparison, whole one supernatural, whole two Ruby Rose two, a lot going on here. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave us your comments down below. If you were specifying and specking a blue water cruiser, what would you choose? Because actually your feedback is super useful. From our patrons that have done this kind of like the weight analysis on the Corian to the speaker placements, your comments have actually shaped this boat. So keep commenting, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, subscribe. And actually thanks to all of you who have contributed with their insane amount of knowledge. We have the boat that is actually perfect for us. Take care, goodbye.